NFT stands for non-fungible token. Fungible is another word for replaceable. So NFTs are non-replaceable because they are unique. For example, you can't replace a painting or a one-of-a-kind Pokemon card with another because each are unique. But you can replace a dollar with another dollar. NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, and blockchain is a distributed database that is shared among the nodes of a computer network and it consists of blocks of data. Each block contains encrypted information about transactions made in the network from previous blocks and new transaction information. Now you can add an NF tokens to blocks to identify ownership of unique items. Let's say you have created a new painting for Mona Lisa. You can create an NFT for it which contains information like a unique fingerprint of the file, token name and a symbol. Now this NFT will be stored in the blockchain, identifying you as the owner and now you can make a transaction on the blockchain to sell it. Once you sell it, a new block will be created, having the previous and current owner and the price paid. But it's important to know that if you bought an artwork, you will not get a physical copy. You only get ownership of it. But anyone can download it and the creator still have its copyrights and can sell prints of it. NFTs can really be anything digital, such as drawings, music, even tweets. But a lot of the current excitement is around using the tech to sell digital art. Jack Dorsey, co-founder and CEO of Twitter, sold his first tweet as NFT for $2,915,835.47. You can still check the tweet in his account, but it's now having a new owner. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.